figure of the sinuous mists. Paya.
So, so be it. The sacrament has been completed. Your guilt has been purged, but will remain my eternal burden, for that is my appointed purpose. Now go.
And you may die, perhaps even rot away before my very eyes, but that will not help you. I can wait as long as it takes, long after those insatiable worms have finished their repulsive feasting. In the end, I will discover that secret thou hast been concealing from me since the first dusty cobweb appeared under the eaves of this home. And since the first wrinkle marred thine already pale and bony forehead. But for now, behave yourself. Can you not see we have a guest at our table? Sit down. Welcome to this humble table. My name is Gastula. It is a great rarity these days for footsteps to echo through these lonely halls. And what dost thou seek here? Dost thou crave the same fate that befell so many unfortunates who ended up possessed by the very goal? Yes, this manner. If only I could find the hiding place of my brother Trifon's manuscript, perchance I might have at least one less mystery to solve. How deluded you are. Did you think you could keep it from me any longer? Do not listen to this brother of mine, dear visitor.
Oh, sister. Stern, terrible Castula. Seekest not to deceive me with your detached expression. That serene indifference. I know you hear my words, even though the look you return to me arises from the depths of the shadows themselves. Welcome, visitor, to this table of reproach and intrigue. My name is Trifon, for that was what my parents so desired. Payest no attention to my sister's words, nor her silences. But just by looking it up. No, I am no longer interested in your con- Thine understanding has long been governed by a dastardly imagination. I remember when you had that old blue-green headscarf. <laughs> it was so- If you held it now in thine hands, perchance you would never have lost it if, just for once, you had stopped rummaging through my affair. What does this mean? It's blank. I can't hear you. Where have you gone, Trifon? Don't leave me. Stay. Even with intrigues. Even with secrets.
the dark sockets of your soul. What memories? What old... The dark... What memories? Welcome to this palace. How silent, how mundane these luxurious chambers have been. Halls that were once frequented by the most distinguished of visitors. They all ended up staying here, captives, trapped petrified like golden statues, prisoners of the very riches they craved. Dance now with my steel, penitent one. We will embroider your flesh in sacred torment, in a tapestry of blood and gold. On guard, on guard.
be witness to this vigil before my final journey. I, Orospina, am the daughter of the looms, of the mantle of gold and fine silver and scarlet and white. Eldest sister of the confraternity of embroiderers, ancient secret of the needle and the thread. Where I go, naught shimmers with gold, and my graceful steel will never again adorn the air with its elegant silver calligraphy. Penitent one, you who come to witness the miracle, behold. But their plea was so humble and true that the miracle whose lofty reasons are beyond our earthly ken, finally stirred from its slumber, aroused from its repose, and moved by the sweet melody of such noble supplications, it blessed this couple of devout believers, whose faith had never wavered, granting them the child they so desired. The warm and golden caress of twilight invites me to close my eyes. Let the miracle cast open its black gates so I might venture to where that terrible dream from which one never wakes awaits. Penitent one, you have known the second of the regrets, and with it, another part of the testimony. The figure of the mother has descended, full of mercy. Anon, the upper part of the city, separated from the rest by the miracle's design, will join the rest. Find the last guardian. The wood is taking shape. I sense how its veins nourish a body that seeks to be wounded with my chisels and hammers, that yearns for the cuts and indentations that will free it from its coarse origins. Allow me to present you with a new piece for your silver altarpiece.
The altarpiece on your back now has more capacity. Here, I will wait for you until you gather more marks of martyrdom to extend your altarpiece. May the hands of the miracle guide thee, penitent.
penitent one of merciful steps. My golden mask weeps to see you before me. You are in the garden of high choirs. I am another of the holy brothers of the golden visage, born of the miracle. Oh, tireless time that travels without delay and erases a past. Conjure, make us remember when the miracle imposed its dark punishment upon us. That which prevented us from soaring and traveling with the breath of the wind, penitent one. Free my brothers who, by the designs of a miracle that already seems a stranger to us, only they will allow you to climb. Help us by freeing more brothers, and we shall reveal to you what the tower holds at its highest point.